friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I will be watching My Dress Up Darling episode 11. I'm very excited because I've seen some tweets of like fans who have already watched the episode and they're all like, this episode had me running laps. I literally was like, <laughs> my emotions were everywhere, la la la. So that got me really hyped. Are we getting a confession in this episode? Is that why everyone is all riled up? Is something gonna happen within this episode that's like really gonna elevate their relationship? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm I'm like highly anticipating whatever this particular moment or moment are or is i can't even like formulate a coherent sentence because i'm i'm just itching to start so let's just get started with the episode oh they're going to manga cafe yo i would love to go to a manga cafe it's like you can read all that you want there without you know spending all of your money what's wrong <laughs> he's so hyper aware of like how close they are i am love hotel love hotel somehow these are gonna find themselves in a love hotel why wait how small is the room Thirsty for me. What a title every night and I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's a slice of life. I am all for a slice of life. I've been really into slice of life, but not this type of slice of life. That's something else. Oh my god, is that gonna be her fourth cosplay? Wait, so are we done with the Veronica? Cosplay? Are we done with Veronica? But you're very cute. <laughs> she Okay, I guess she's gonna cosplay as Liz. Uh, is she? She gets shy all of a sudden. <laughs> you don't. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> He's so cute. He's always so shocked by it, but he's like, he dives straight into whatever series Marine is talking about. What was the what? Oh, never mind. He, he's into it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this is a new challenge. He's gonna have to figure out how to make that with the simple, like, drawing style. I mean, if there was, like, official art released by the creator of the series, they could look at that for reference. <laughs> look at his face! He's so... Oh, he's so precious. They've been there for quite some time. He's gonna study up again. I love it whenever he like blushes. Did he already get ideas? Oh what? Oh never mind. Oh. What's wrong? Okay, we gotta backtrack. 
Thank you. How? Studio? Oh, okay, so the that room that she found is at a love hotel. Oh man, this is gonna be all kinds of hilarious moments. Did she? <laughs> that is not a studio. Okay, so we're we're done with Veronica then. What? Okay, so she did know. But he clearly didn't. <laughs> he's, he's losing his mind. He's lost his mind. <laughs> so in her rush to get this room because it was at a good price, she didn't read the details carefully. I mean, it's fine. You're there for something else, not for its purpose. Okay, so this is why everyone was like losing their shit. But what's gonna happen? You need to calm down. Are rooms at love hotels like considerably cheaper compared to like a regular hotel is that why they're more popular or i mean like couples opt to go to love hotels instead of just booking a regular hotel i mean they're all the same it's just that like the amenities at love hotels is like for couples you know like they have whatever they might need there already at their service so that they don't say like they forgot contraceptive like it's already there anyway let's move on from that <laughs> i mean yeah you already spent your money might as well just do the photo shoot He's gonna wither away at the by the end of this episode. He can't take this. Uh, his grandpa, if he, his grandpa ever finds out, it's gonna be another trip to the hospital. I don't think that's gonna be regular TV. <laughs> you need to get into your professional mode. You're here for a photo shoot. Is he watching? Wow, that's pretty good, considering like he didn't have much of a reference to go off. Of course you did. Of course you did. Yeah, that's true. Think about her own interpretation. Interpretation, sorry. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, it's not a solid rule that if you're gonna cosplay as a certain character, you have to. Um, is there? Is that actually true? No, you're just prepared. But like, I heard it's bad to actually keep a condom in your wallet. Whoa! How is she- she transformed. Okay, what I was talking about, yeah, like, let's backtrack a bit. It's totally not, like, a solid rule that if you're gonna cosplay, you have to get all of the detail right, or like, copy and paste from what the original creator head out. It's open for interpretation. Like certain poses. Look at all those tabs. So 
sing the lullaby. Oh, and she goes like that. She like, she wants her to look directly in the camera. As if she's singing to... Oh, this is where things escalate. This is where things escalate. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, that's a pretty good shot though okay now let's wait until he realizes what kind of position they're in okay <laughs> here we go obviously there's it's mine totally just slipped out of it and <gasps> oh this is why people lost their shit i mean <laughs> they really showed like a close-up of him getting y'all are they gonna kiss are they gonna kiss Oh my god, this is so sexual. I feel so uncomfortable. Not gonna lie, I feel really uncomfortable. Okay. Oh my god, are they gonna kiss? Of course. The third time, third time, their time's up, right? Yo, I could feel <laughs> their awkwardness. <laughs> that totally just happened. <laughs> Is that the other couple that they heard? <laughs> Cute. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look at him! Look at his eyes! Is this gonna make their relationship, like, complicated? <laughs> I need a moment to process everything that just happened. <laughs> so, okay, so this is why. And obviously, it's at a right... It, I like what this I guess development in their relationship it's at a right pacing considering we're nearing the end of the season right for this <laughs> for the show I'm, I'm gonna say season because I don't want to rule out the possibility that there's gonna be a season two after because there's the manga is still ongoing so there's still a lot of material that um the creators can work with the moment love hotel was mentioned something like that was gonna happen but they really went in i was so oh um, they really went in on the details and the editing and the camera angle i was like taken aback when gojo suggested Mari and get on top of him, that's what I knew. Oh shit, something's gonna something's gonna happen. Something did happen. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> let's move on from that aspect for a little bit. I really want to talk about more of the technical sides that this episode um showcased. So we have now a different situation where there's a character that Marine wants to cosplay, but it's like there's no the past three um cosplays that Marin has done there is like an anime adaptation right that or a game that they could go off of and use it as reference but in this case for liz they could only go off from the manga and in the manga like yeah at the cover or even of like, some colored shots you can see what liz is supposed to look like but there's only so much that you can interpret from see like seeing a panels, you know, 
and obviously they're gonna be in shades so I really like that in this episode we were shown Gojo ex exercising his imagination and um, taking the initial inspiration and also do conducting his own research and research the researching others artworks of is it called this is it pronounced succubus i might be wrong on the pronunciation but like he went and did outside research to really get a sense of what you know liz is supposed to look like what he can incorporate into the costume and you know he had a lot of creative freedom that's what i really like that they showed in this particular cosplay was gojo having a lot more creative freedom um and it worked out well he made some really cute um costume for Mari that's still very liz um and yeah there's nothing wrong with taking like the original work interpreting it in your own way to suit a particular like your sense of particular style or like another sense of, of style that you're going for it doesn't each cosplay doesn't necessarily have to be like it doesn't always have to exactly look like what is presented in the original artwork you can embellish um you can change up some things right you can include and exclude certain things right and i think that's also another thing that makes cosplaying really 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 fun i'm glad that this episode really focused on that so that's what i really loved about it but yeah this episode was definitely like um com uh, like a comparison of shock value to all of the episodes so far this episode definitely had um, I mean, this episode really wins that. I, I was like, anyway, now I get it. Now I get why everyone was losing their shit. Yeah. There's only a couple episodes left, or is there, like, one more episode left? I don't even know, but we're definitely nearing the end. I'm really hoping that we're gonna get an announcement soon for a second season, because I really want more. I want them discovering more about cosplaying and gojo learning all about or gojo learning more about cosplaying and costume making and doll making as the season progresses and i really <laughs> i'm still holding out for like gojo having his own cosplay well he doesn't have to go to a convention he could just cosplay as like this was a perfect opportunity he could have cosplayed as the the guy in the series right that would have been an easy cosplay so i'm still holding out for gojo having his own cosplay in the future but if this is you know the end for the anime i might consider picking up the manga or like yeah like picking up where the anime leaves off in the manga and just reading from there okay it's getting to a point where i'm <laughs> starting to ramble so i'm gonna end my comments here and i'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video um if you enjoyed watching this video i invite you to give this video a thumbs up a like whatever we call it and consider subscribing to my channel um as well if you have any thoughts or comments of your own please feel free to leave them down in the comment section and until my next video then, bye!